from? Peru. I was just in Peru. I was there in May, yeah. I was in Lima and then uh, I went to Cusco, of course. I love Peru. It's beautiful. What a wonderful country. Some of the best food. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know how far away I am from Yeah, Peru is very far away from here. Yeah, I don't try for me to come to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a, we got the pictures already. Thank you. Yes, we got the pictures. All right, we're good. No, we're good. We're good. All right, everybody, tonight's the last night of our cruise, and we are celebrating at the Crown Grill, which is like the premium restaurant of the Princess Cruise Line. My dad did this on his Mexico cruise recently, and he loved it so much. So let's... Hey, here is Anna, the one who's going to destroy... Anna from Mex Mexico. She's going to destroy our lobster. All right, show us how you destroy a lobster. What I love about the cruise is all of you, every single person we met that works here is so interesting. You all have such interesting stories. That is a beautiful lobster tail. All right. Beautiful. All right, so that's for all of us to share. Lovely. Gracias, Ana. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So, on cruises, the way it works, if you've never been, this is our first cruise, so we're just learning as well. But um, my dad made reservations for dinner every night, because assuming we were all together, in one of the dining rooms. And the dining room, meals are included and they're quite nice they usually include three or four courses uh we've had what have we had in the kitchen can room we've had um, french, onion soup. french onion soup we've had steak we've had yes. fish so they have a nice menu in the regular dining room and that's included you don't pay anything extra for that and then we have also the drinks package Oh, can I get a glass of red wine, please? Merlot or Cabernet? Cabernet, Cabernet. Yes, yeah, please. Um, so that's just included. But, uh, and they have, let's let's think about all the restaurants we have here on the ship. We have, we have the Gigi's Pizzeria, which is actually pretty good pizza. It's not bad. Yeah, it's it's pizza. not bad. And they have a really good veal ravioli. And they had really good veal ravioli. So that's included. There's the sushi place, which is special. A special, the, yeah, let's start with the ones that are included. They have a buffet that's open pretty much all the time. And the buffet food has been surprisingly good. The buffet food is fine. It's yeah. not as good as the restaurants, but it's... It's the least good food, but it's still good. Like, I had a really nice salad. They had a great salad bar this afternoon. Uh, I had butter chicken there. So they've had some nice things in the buffet. So that's kind of the lowest tier. And then near the pool, they have the Salty Dog, which is like hot dogs and hamburgers and slices of pizza and all these different things. Then they have just the regular dining room. The dining room you can have breakfast at, you can have lunch at, and you can have dinner at. But it's a sit-down plated meal just like this. There's the International Cafe, which we love because they have mochas, they have um, little sandwiches, they have all kinds of other things. And it's open all the time. And it's open all the time, 24 hours a day. Um, what else? Uh, they have the, okay, and then there's the premium ones. So there are premium restaurants you pay extra for. Now, it may seem stupid to pay extra for meals, and in some ways, it kind of, well, hold on, it kind of could be construed that way. So they have these premium restaurants, you pay an extra $30 a person, one is the uh, is a French restaurant. It's called Bistro Sur la Mer, and they did a set course of five courses, but it was designed by a famous French chef. And I thought it was it was lovely. It was very good, was very very nicely presented, super high end kind of French food. Uh, then there's the sushi place. The sushi place the kids went for lunch yesterday. They with a sushi chef making sushi while you watch. Very very good sushi. Which was expensive though because they were charging by the piece. And then they have uh, the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, which had sort of a, a high end pub menu. We didn't end up doing that one. Instead. My dad booked this place for last night. This is the Crown wait, wait, Grill. There's also the Italian place. Oh, the Italian place, but I'm not going to eat Italian food on a cruise ship. Yeah. Like, I'm a professional Italian food eater. Like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I hear it's good, you know. So this is the Crown Grill. This is every princess ship has this as their most imp impressive dining room. 
and what you do is you get, I think it's about four or five courses. Uh, you can have as many starters, soups, salads, whatever you want, but then the main course, which is a steak or a seafood item, you get one, or you can pay $10 to get an extra one. So we've each gotten lovely steaks. Look at this. Not bad. Last night I got the prime rib. It was fantastic. It was huge. It was and, then, arm. and then lobster is one of the items on the menu. So we've gotten one lobster to share between all three of us. So, and then it's just higher end. And I actually asked the guy last night, the waiter, because they had lobster night last night in the main dining room. It would have been free. We wouldn't have had to pay $30 a person extra for it. And I said to him, so why am I here paying $30 per person to eat lobster when it's free in the dining room downstairs? And he said, it's not the same thing. He said the stuff downstairs is frozen or it's the stuff up here is fresh, it's better quality. So what you're basically doing, if you want to eat these premium restaurants on the cruise, you're getting better quality food. So that was an interesting thing to learn. Something else interesting, a hot tip for you, is that my dad reserved all of the meals ahead of time. And they say that you can dine flexibly and you can make reservations on the fly with your phone when you're on the cruise, but that's not really true because everything was booked when we got here. Every seat for every seating for every restaurant. And that obviously wasn't true because pretty much every restaurant at any one time had a table open. Well, that's the thing, is that the official reservations, yes, there aren't any, but every restaurant that we went to, if you don't mind coming early or late, you can get a table. So we're here at 9.30 at night which is fine for us because we're more European in our dining habits anyway. We're happy to eat late and we could get into basically any restaurant on the ship going at nine o'clock. So if you don't mind kind of winging it, we were able to just get reservations this afternoon. We went and talked to the desk and they said, well, we're, fu we're fully booked, but maybe if you come at nine, we can, we can serve you. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's worth it. It's, I mean, yeah, $30 a person on top of the cruise that you've already paid for it seems a little silly, but the quality is really excellent. Now, I would keep talking, but my steak is getting cold. So and there's lobster. my steak, my lobster. This is our celebration dinner for the end of the cruise. We're in Victoria, BC right now, and we're heading back to Seattle tonight. We'll arrive early tomorrow morning in Seattle, and that will be the end of the cruise. I will catch up on my cruise diary. We've been at sea, so I haven't had a signal to be able to write and send you pictures, but I will send you lots of pictures and my writing uh, covering the rest of the, of the cruise and what I thought about it. Um, what do you guys think overall? It's terrible. It's awful. I hate it. It's cruises, awful. they hate cruises. The yeah. all the food for us. Would you do yeah, another cruise? cruise? Without a doubt. Nico? I would definitely be... I would do another cruise, and I would be even more excited to do another cruise with Grandpa. There, there you have it. What we've discovered is... We love you, Grandpa. We love you, we Grandpa. Love you, Grandpa. We miss you, Daddy. That maybe cruising is not for me specifically, as a travel professional, but I would happily do another cruise with my parents, because as a multi-generational mode of travel, this is magnificent. I see so many family groups on this boat who are having a great time together. And yeah, there are some ethical issues, environmental in particular, from a waste standpoint. And Luca is gonna have something to say about that at a later point. But that on the balance, I totally get it. I get why people enjoy this. Hats off to Princess Cruises. Absolutely lovely service, a gorgeous brand new ship. And every single person we've, we've talked to, all the staff, they're all so, so nice they're from all over the world so many interesting stories so yeah we had a good time now my dad wants to convert me into a cruiser i'm going to say he was not successful on that point but i would go on another cruise because you know i love my dad so there you go buy it from the princess discovery vancouver bc or victoria bc this is adventures with sarah and son signing off from our cruise adventure Look for an update and the cruise, crab, the cruise travel logs coming up. And I'm also going to do a packing video on how to pack for an Alaska cruise. So you'll see that later this week. Hope you guys are all well. More adventures coming up, right?